welcome to Ecom 2302. I'll be your instructor for the next four weeks. Uh, so this is our mini semester and uh, hopefully everybody's here on the first day. So I'm going to go over some important information with you guys. Uh, now, first of all, um, for many of you, this might be your first time using uh, a system called Canvas. So let me go over some information on our school website and also our class page and show you what to do for every single week and for every single assignment. Okay, so guys, once you log on to your uh, Canvas page, uh, this is our homepage over here. So it looks like this. And then um, let me show you where you are. Uh, oh, first thing first, um, if it's any important, important information, I'll either send you an email or I'll put an announcement over here. So as you can see um, for the, let me see, it's loading. Uh, loading, loading, loading. I wonder why it's so slow. All right, here we go. So, so for the first day, there's already something out here. So that's where all the announcement is. Uh, so every time I, when I check on the homepage, make sure to check announcement to see if there's anything new information for the class. Uh, and then for the assignments for every week, uh, click. I mean every every chapter. So click over here for assignment. This will show you the assignment for uh for the entire semester or for the entire four weeks. And then guys, um. Keep in mind that this is a very short semester. It's only four weeks, and I really, if you look at our um our academic calendar, this class actually lasts than four weeks. So uh, so everything is very compact now. Um, which means you you need to really be uh self controlled for for all the assignment. Uh, so do not miss any due dates, and then try to finish everything as early as possible. Now, even though all the assignments have a due date on there, but they don't have a start date. That means as, as of this point right now, everything is opened. So you can really, if, if you want to, if you have the time and the energy to do it, uh, you can finish everything in the class for, for the first week and that's it. You can just chill for the next three weeks, okay? Um, but let me show you what every, where everything is. So this is where you find all the assignments. So all the discussions, all the homework, all the quizzes, all the exams will be all on this page. But this is a lot to look at, and it's also very scary. Um, so don't scare yourself, uh, or let, you know, let's try to scare you a little less. <laughs> so what you want to do, uh, on the left side over here, click on module. Now when you click on module, uh, your assignment is breaking down by each uh, exam, uh, and also by each week. So for the for uh, since we have a like what like a three and a half weeks for this class. Uh, so every week we're going to cover one exam and then the last half week we're going to cover your final okay so uh, so each exam is one week so for exam one uh, chapter one through six so everything on here is due by december 18 so uh, you have your dis you have, so every week we have two discussions so for exam one we have discussion discussion one uh, and also discussion two at the very end and also for this exam you know every single chapter you have your reading assignment um, you have your chapter uh, homework, uh, play homework, and also you have your chapter one quiz. So every chapter you have a one assignment, one quiz. And then also by the end of the module, you have your exam. And then um, keep this in mind, uh, all the quizzes, all the exams, you have three try, and then I would take the highest try of the three. Uh, and also for the homeworks, you also have three try, um, but I will show you, um, I will show you how to do that later, okay? Because if you, there's a certain way to do it. Uh, if you submit everything for the homework all at once, you only get one try. But if you submit the questions one by one, you get three tries on each question. So there's a trick with it, okay? Uh, so that's your exam one and exam two, which is the next week. And then now normally they will be due on the Sunday, but since Sunday is December twenty fifth, Christmas, uh, I want I don't uh, I don't want you guys working on the Christmas night, okay? <laughs> um, so your exam two, everything is due on December twenty sixth, and then also exam three since Sunday is a is a January first, so um, exam three will be due on the Monday after, so January second, that's when exam three and all the summer are due. And then uh, your final will be due on um, um, January 5th. I believe that's a search day. Okay. So remember, keep, uh, remember this. So everything is open. So do not wait and do everything as early as possible. Uh, and then there is no penalty for finishing everything early. Now, however, if you couldn't or if you missed the due dates, um, there will be penalty. And then the worst part is that since this is a very short semester, only for less than four weeks, 
if you fall behind, it's very hard to catch up. Okay, so make sure to do everything early. Um, and then if you just happen to miss the due date on the final exam, there's nothing I can do. Because really, if you miss the final, um, I had to I had to train the grade to the school by January fifth. So if you cannot finish in, finish everything by January fifth, then um, you just get what you get. Okay. So keep those in mind. Uh, do not miss the two days. And if I have any question? Let me know. Um, now, uh, guys, let me show you your um, syllabus. So if you go to file, or files, you can see our syllabus on here. And it's loading, it's loading. I think the reason why it's so slow is probably because I'm looking at this from the student view. Okay, so syllabus, let's open this. Ah, great, okay, let me fix that. Uh, guys, I will fix that so you'll be able to see it once I fix it, okay? Uh, so you'll be able to see the syllabus. Um, on the syllabus, there are some important informations. Um, I mean, the most important information on the syllabus is my contact information. So um, uh, my email is on there, my, um, my YouTube account is on there. Um, let me show you your assignment first. So let's go to module. Um, your your discussion is based in Canvas, um, but your uh, ho your homeworks, your quiz, your exams, they're all based in uh, external websites called uh, MindTab. Um, but once you click on it, this will bring into MindTab. So MindTab is our learning support package for economics. So your your textbook, your homework, your quizzes, your exams, all based in MindTab. So let's try to open let's see chapter one, and let me show you what it looks like. Um, now, since I'm in the student view, um, so this will be the same thing when you log on for the first time. So I will show you what you need to do to register for this, you know, learning support package. Okay. Um, so that's our Cengage page. All right. So we have our student account set up. Um, now to to register for the account, you do need to get a textbook. Uh, so there are a couple ways. You can go to the bookstore to buy it. So once you buy the book from the bookstore, uh, you will have the, the access code in the package with the book. Um, and then from my experiences, um, the bookstore does have the lowest price for this textbook. Now I know that you you know some website listed a lower price for the textbook, but the the the, the, the access code is different. So if you buy the book from anywhere else, there is a risk that you might not be able to use the access code. Okay, so make sure to buy the textbook from our bookstore. Now, if you don't want to make a drive to the central campus, you or you don't just don't you're too far away, you can also just register online with Cengage and then get a get an e textbook. So not a physical textbook textbook, but you have access to the e textbook. And then the good thing about the e textbook, uh, with a, for the e textbook, you can you can access anywhere you want. So there is a there there is an app. From MindTab, so just just like everything else, is app. So this is the app from MindTab, and then on the app from MindTab, you can also access the textbook anywhere you are. Okay, so you can bring your book with you, and it's right on the phone. Okay, so guys, that's how you set up set up on your um on your MindTab. Um, now let me go back. Actually, you know what, guys? Let me leave student view. Um, let me show you what it actually looks like when you when you do the assignment. Okay, so let me go to now. So once you register, well, after you registered, um, you're gonna once you lo log into MindTab, um, it will look something like this. Well, after it load, still loading. I think tonight is slow, and still loading. Patience. <laughs> Come on. This is the best part, waiting. Hopefully you guys have better luck uh, once you log on. Normally it's very fast. Um, I don't know why it's so slow tonight. And we're gonna run out of time. Ah, oh, come on. 
All right, here we go. So um, this is chapter one. Now for this chapter one, uh, let me.